Hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss how to set up and establish communication between an IP camera and a Wintech HMI using Easy Builder Pro. To begin, we'll need to ensure that we have the following. An IP camera that is ONVIF compliant. The RTSP address of your IP camera. And a Wintech HMI that supports video input. During this demonstration, I'm going to be using a FOSCAM R2C IP camera and a CMT3072. Now before we establish communication with the IP camera, it would be helpful if we reference the R2C user manual. A quick search within the user manual reveals that the R2C is ONVIF compliant. Also. In a separate section, I was able to find the format of the RTSP address that we'll need in order to establish communication. Now, let's configure the video settings of our IP camera before we establish communication. The FOSCAM R2C came with a quick start guide with which I was able to create the username and password that I'll need to access my camera. Although your device might be different, to connect with our camera, I'll first make sure that my PC is on the same IP subnet as the R2C. To do this, I've connected both my PC and IP camera to the same router. Because, by default, the IP camera is assigned an IP address by DHCP. Next, FOSCAM provides software from their website which I can use to access my camera within my browser. Since I've already created a username and password for my device, I'll go ahead and log in. I'll select the settings menu, and we'll configure the video settings for our device. The encoding format should be configured to H.264 or MJPEG. Although you'll notice this isn't explicitly stated here, However, the user manual of our device has noted that video compression is done in H.264 format. In this example, my stream type will be set to user defined. And our resolution should be configured to 960 by 544 or less. I'll select 640 by 480 in this example. We'll configure our frame rate to 15 frames per second and our frame interval to 20. The max transmission speed is 800 kilobytes per second, so I'll configure mine to 512 kilobytes per second in this example. With that properly configured, I'll save our settings and then we'll test our RTSP address using VLC Media Player. Sometimes, finding the correct RTSP address can be difficult. This depends on the manufacturer of your camera and how well they document this information. As an example, when I initially tested the RTSP address format that was listed within the user manual, I was unsuccessful in connecting to and viewing my device while using VLC Media Player. However, I was able to find a resource online that listed the correct RTSP address format. The format for my FOSCAM R2C is RTSP colon two forward facing slashes, the username, my password, at the camera's IP address colon the camera's HTTP port number slash video main. Now let's test this using VLC. All right, since we were able to connect to our camera using VLC, let's configure our project. Within our Easy Builder Pro application, I'm going to select my CMT3072. We'll close our system parameters, and let's add a video in object. To do this, 
I'll select the Object tab. And on the right hand side, I'll select Media. And in our drop down list, we'll select Video In. At the top, I'm going to switch this from USB to IP camera. And now we can enter the RTSP address of our device. Let's copy this string from our VLC media player since we know it's working. And we'll paste this into our RTSP entry box. It's important to note that this entry box already contains the RTSP prefix, so make sure that you don't copy that part. Now we'll add a control address. And we'll leave this at LW0 for this example. Our control address uses a command value of 1 to start the connection and a command value of 0 to stop the connection. With that configured, let's place our object. I'll also create some set words to start and stop our video in object. They will be addressed to LW0 and set a constant value of either 1 or 0. With that finished, let's download our project to the HMI. It's important to note that this object will not display during simulation or through CMT Viewer, and so the only way to view the video in object is by looking directly on the HMI screen or by using VNC Viewer. I'd also like to note that your HMI should be on the same IP subnet as the IP camera. And with our project downloaded, let's select the Start button to start our IP camera. And through our video in object, we can see the HMI screen. I'll then select the stop button and close our connection. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our YouTube channel and select the playlist tab. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.